everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Scorpios, um, this is your August reading and also your new moon, solar eclipse manifesting reading. So for you the energy this month is going to be in your 10th house, so it's going to be all about career, that's where your focus is going to be, that's where the sun's going to be beaming its energy and it's also where you're going to have your new moon solar eclipse. So you really need to be thinking about stepping onto the world stage. But in the longer view, you also need to be thinking about what changes you need to make in your life or within yourself that will allow you to do it once and for all in the way that you really picture it, in the way that you really want to do it. And there's a tension with the fourth house, so don't let anything um, at home or within your emotions or from your past stop you from moving forward, okay? Those are the, the that's kind of the territory. That it's time for you to make a big leap forward, possibly into something new, but definitely into a new way of seeing your career and or into a new project, a new thing or a new thing that you want to present. Um, and those are the, the possible things that are going to try to pull on your energy a little bit or that you might allow to pull, pull on your energy. Things that have happened in the past that have knocked your confidence or feelings within you that make you feel um, less able than you are, less um, deserving. Anything connected to the past or connected to your home or family or things that have uh, a habit of pulling on you when you're trying to leap forward. You know family conflicts or anything like that, it's time to move away from that, to try to put it 
you know, to the back of your mind a little bit. And, um, you know, obviously it's your free will choice what you do with all of this advice and no one's going to tell you what to do about your family or about this or about that. It's about a series of feelings. It's about um, emotional traps that you've fallen into in the past. It's not about those particular people. It's about the effect that you allow things to have on you when it comes to wanting to move forward and make changes in your career, to, to change the way that you see yourself and, and, and your ability to elevate your status or to change things for the better in your life and how those things impact on that. So it's time to change that. <laughs> That's basically what this is leading up to, that the solar eclipse is asking you to leap into the new, to leap into the future with that, okay? So we're going to pull some cards to see what will help you in that journey and, you know, just anything that you need to know. What does Scorpio need to know about this exciting time in August, the month of August for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know most? Oh, well, that's it. That, that really settled in there. It's a really weird feeling of settling into home. There was something really warm about that. So let's see what it brings. Past, present, future. Advice and outcome. Angel of emergence. It's time for the real you to emerge. So this is what you've been evaluating recently. This is what you've been thinking through. You've been thinking through all the times that you've allowed yourself to be held back, all the times that you've you know, stopped yourself at the last minute, at the last hurdle where you've shied away from greatness is what I've just heard. You've pulled yourself, pulled back and just at the last minute refused to let yourself go forward. And now you've had that period just recently of looking at your beliefs. What do I believe about myself? What do I believe about how life should be or how life can be for me? And you've sort of come to this place of accepting, yeah, it's time for the real me to emerge. And that's the me without any of the past baggage, without any of those limitations um, that I place on myself, without any of those old emotional triggers pulling me back. Just me, really me. Okay, you may, some of you may have had to make changes to allow that to come forward. Could have been changes in your home that have come in early, or could have been changes in work or relationships. But that's basically the crux of it, that it's all about you wanting to really be yourself and allow yourself to emerge and to shine, because remember we're in the sign of Leo now. So where are you right now? Perfect, angel of new life, there you are. And it says an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. So the reason that you've done all of this clearing and emerging is so that you can actually go on to a completely new path. You know, in a practical sense, you are actually going to go on this new path. It's actually time for you to be thinking that through now. And if you haven't just made that move or the decision recently, it's now. It's very imminent. It's like you're not necessarily going to actually do it right now. You may have just done it or you may be just making the decision, coming to the conclusion of, right, I'm gonna just do it, because, you know, some people say you only live once, but <laughs> we know that's not true. But you know what I mean, it's that sort of feeling. It's like, I'm, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it now, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna change all of this, and I'm gonna go for it, be who I really am. And your future outcome with moving through all of this, goddess of sacred power, that's perfect. You are being encouraged to take a leading role in your situation. We keep getting that in that position. So you are being encouraged to go forward. You are being encouraged to trust yourself, to trust your voice, your inner voice. And when I, when I heard voice, voice really sort of sprung out. So for some of you, it will be about sharing your ideas in front of people or singing or poetry, it's like the voice thing seemed really important, having your own voice. There might be musicians out there or actors, it feels like, you know, oh, I've got goosebumps. Right, so that's really going to be significant for someone who is in the performing arts, this message. You know, you've done that work, that background work now, you know, to get you to here, to the place where you'll have the courage to step forward, 
trust it, take a leadership role and step forward and don't give up too easily, don't take no for an answer. I think that's why you've got that here, because I've just heard don't take no for an answer, you have to be the leader and if it doesn't fall into place immediately, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not right. Sometimes that means it's not right, if the flow just isn't there, but sometimes it means you have to be tenacious and not give up too easily and show yourself that you really mean it. Your advice. Angel of space clearing, it's time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. So negative thoughts and feelings, yes, that's clearing your inner space. Also, you might want to clear your physical space a little bit. You might, some of you I'm seeing packing boxes, you know, some of you will be preparing to go on a trip or to move or something like that. I think for a lot of people, this is a theme at the moment because it's all changed. We're all being asked to let go of the old, we're all being asked to make big changes that allow us to be truly on our path or to be truly ourselves much more and you know it may just be for a break it may just be for a spell for a particular period but it's clearing space for you to continue the work that you've been doing where you need to have a clear focus just on what your journey is without those distractions that we talked about. So it could be that you go away for a while, you come back much clearer, or it could be that you're leaving a situation completely that, that brings you back, or it could just be that you're space clearing, that you're clearing things out of your home that connect you to the past, things that belonged to people who, you know, the relationships were, were troublesome, and you're just not gonna put any more energy in that direction uh, for the time being, you know, clear things out with love, send love and then detach and, and say, right, I need to focus on my inner journey and on my career journey because ultimately that is going to benefit everyone, okay? Great, so your outcome if you do all of those things and keep going forward, goddess of beauty, so you are a wondrous being of light, there is nothing to change or fix. So there, you're not wrong is what this is basically saying. You know, there is nothing. I don't know each individual situation, obviously, but what the, the card is saying is stop judging and questioning and pulling yourself apart about whatever has been going on that you, you're having to pull away from now, you know, all those entanglements just let go with love and grace and everything that's meant to be things have a great way of working out with time you know time and love as they say so let go stop trying to fix the unfixable and and let time and love do some of the fixing for you and work on work on your your vision of yourself your dream your creation i feel for some this will mean you know you might actually be beautifying yourself preparing to step out on this new career path it it might actually be a career in the beauty industry or it might just be that you think no I'm going to change my image now I'm going to get myself some new clothes I'm going to get my hair done and I'm going to you know or guys I'm going to get myself a new suit and I'm going to get some really good shoes and I'm going to put my best foot forward and I'm going to go for it you know so that's all looking really really positive really positive so let's just see where we are what card we want a guardian angel card for you and i'm getting orange and my hands are kind of being drawn over here and i've got gratitude and the message is thank you this is a heartfelt um thanks to you from someone you recently helped okay so scorpio what this is basically saying is and I don't even need to read any further because I can feel the message and how it works with everything, is that you've been judging yourself harshly for wanting to move away from something or not put so much energy into healing something because it's been hurting you and because you want to focus on yourself and your career for a while. And you've been feeling guilty about that. And I actually feel that there is someone, for a lot of Scorpios, there's someone in spirit or just the general energy like um, you know the thoughts of someone on earth who you've helped it's coming towards you and saying you've done a lot for me or for us you've done all you could I've got those goosebumps again so um, God bumps 
you've done a lot. You've done a lot. You've done more than you realise. And um, you're going to have to let go and trust now that we all have our path to walk. We all have our angels and we all have our free will choices. And, you know, you're not dropping this, whatever it is. Just put it put it down for a while. Just rest it, you know, over in the corner for a while and um, rebuild yourself and build the life that you have beckoning you okay that's it have a fantastic august it all sounds very involved but overall really really positive doesn't it so i hope you enjoyed that and um, do comment and let me know also for the manifesting for you hopefully i'll remember to link my manifesting video to this um reading you want to be manifesting the career of your dreams or the career phase of your dreams if you're already happy you know this this particular period of whatever this adventure is that you're moving into just see it going really well see everything working out harmoniously for everyone's highest good obviously don't picture other people because we've got to think about everyone's free will it's just it's about you and your career vision so just picture it going really well picture those appreciative faces Picture it all just, you know, going exactly as you would like it to go. And do that regularly until you really feel that vibration in you shifting, okay? And you begin to trust that it can be that way in reality. Have a fantastic month and I'll see you in September.